From the earliest ocean liners to the fastest sail ships the world has ever seen, the UK has an enviable tradition in cutting edge ship design. And as Justin Lee reports, this expertise is now being deployed as an innovative weapon in shipping's race to cut emissions. It's early morning in the Cornish port of Penzance. Salonian 3 is preparing for another crossing to the Isles of Scilly. This ship has provided a vital link to the islands for more than 40 years, bringing thousands of tourists annually, along with daily supplies of food and cargo. It makes this return crossing between Penzance and St Mary's up to seven days a week in peak season for around eight months of the year. Salonian 3 has served the islands well since its launch in 1977, but now its operators, the Isles of Scilly Steamship Group, are looking to the future. A brand new Salonian is planned along with a new cargo ship and inter-island ferry. They're the creation of design and engineering group BMT, the culmination of a long-standing relationship with the Isles of Scilly Steamship Group. When they came to us, um, we, we very clearly identified the need for uh, a very reliable service. Um, this is a, a lifeline service, so that, that's a very, uh, the, the most important thing that they have to achieve. Um, beyond that, the, the passenger comfort was identified as, as being one of the key points to address. The existing vessel is uh, uh, rolled a bit, uh, and that's something that needs to be improved. Passenger comfort and reliability aren't the only priorities. Minimising its environmental impact is also crucial. The new ship will be a hybrid of combustion engine supported by an electric power management system. The main um, objective for this is to allow the vessel to operate uh, zero emission when it's uh, at harbour, so they can switch off all of their uh, combustion engines, and also to go in and out of harbour on electric only. So the vessel is also um, currently being designed in order to allow for that capacity to increase and, you know, perhaps potentially in the future to be fully zero emission. So there was a discussion to reduce the beam of the tier two. BMT works closely with the Isles of Scilly Steamship Group to understand its unique needs. It's a collaboration which the ferry company CEO, Stuart Reid, says has helped win widespread support for the project. This has been about not just us as the customer and BMT as the designer. Um, BMT have worked with us and the community to really sort of design these vessels. They've listened um, to the community as much as we have in taking that information from the consultation process and really coming up with these designs. And you can see that once we announce the, uh, the new designs to the community, you can really see that they've embraced those designs already and are really looking forward to their future release. That collaborative approach and technical innovation are at the forefront of BMT's work with shipbuilders and operators all over the world. At BMT, we've been innovating in ship design for over 35 years and we've got over 300 vessels in service currently, which is a phenomenal tribute to the brilliant naval architects and marine engineers that we employ. Right now we're working on specialist designs for crew transfer platforms for oil rigs, but we work on naval warships, submarines, super yachts and, and kind of everything in between. The real theme here is that the specialism that BMT brings. We particularly enjoy working on the complex, the novel, the different, and in particular looking forwards to the sustainability and green agenda that will achieve net zero uh, and set us on a, on a path to more rapid decarbonisation. The work with the Isles of Scilly Steamship Company is a great example of this. We're working closely with the community means that we can not just deliver a ship for the right price at the right time, but that we can deliver an enduring capability that adds real value to the local community. We've taken the iconicness of Salonian 3 and really turned it into a modern day vessel. So by looking at it, it is a much more modern vessel to look at. Salonian 4 is due to be launched in 2024 and is likely to be serving the islands for decades to come.